Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Pelican and welcome to some DayZ footage. Now today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I decided what I would do today is do another episode of Real Talk which I haven't done in probably about a month or two uh, since I got Counter Strike Go, that's when I did the videos. So I thought I would come back to you guys with Real Talk because uh, it actually did quite well when I used to put those videos up. But today we're going to be doing a Real Talk and by the intro and by the title you will know I'm going to be asking you guys, what would you do in a zombie apocalypse? So, this is probably one of the most interesting topics I'll do in this real talk, because the zombie apocalypse, zombies, apocalypses, games to do with zombies, films to do with zombies, TV series to do with zombies, I'm all about. I love that. I love the idea of there being a zombie apocalypse. However, I think I... I like the concept, but I don't think I'd really enjoy one to actually happen because it would cause so much chaos, so many people would die, so many people would have to be killed, or so many dead people would have to be killed that it would be very messed up and very, you know, unfortunate. However, I think that um, it's probably a good idea to talk about this sort of thing because I think that if it ever happened, then what would you guys do? And I'll tell you what I would do straight off the bat. I would probably use some of the tips I've ever gotten from things like The Walking Dead. I'm sure a lot of people would do that. The Walking Dead is probably the most iconic zombie TV series out there. And I think that a lot of people would probably take their ideas. For example, they stayed together, collected supplies. They've gone from... I'll try not to rent it from everyone, for everyone. Season 1, they were, you know, in the city. 2, they are on a farm. Three and four, they were in a prison, and I think going to prison, or going to the prison, is a very good idea. And before I get onto any more of this, I owe this topic, and this idea of doing this topic, to Spathic, who is another member of Game Flash. And uh, if he's watching this, thank you man, you give me this idea to do this. But yeah, I think that uh, talking about a zombie apocalypse and taking ideas from The Walking Dead is probably one of the uh, best ideas, because they do a lot of bad and good things at the same time I mean a lot of chaos happens in The Walking Dead but you have to give it to them going to a prison was a really really good idea I mean obviously they should have fortified it a little bit more they should have done more to try and protect the prison however I believe that it was a pretty good idea now the problem for me is I live in the UK so we don't have Walmarts we don't have gun stops we don't have gun shops in here up in my town anyway. We, I don't think we have gun shops anywhere in the UK. I'm not entirely sure. Don't take my word on that, but I'm pretty sure we don't. And that's a problem for us, because Walmart is like, for you Americans, is a giant shop with everything. Food, drink, furniture, guns. We don't have that. We have supermarkets, yeah. We do not have gun shops. The closest thing to a gun shop, it's not even close at all really, but we have an air rifle shop in my town. And we also have a police station. And the police station, um, I'm pretty sure that all the UK cops keep a gun locked in the back of their car. And we're not like you American police. We don't just go out guns blazing like brat brat dual wield, jumping across cars and just shooting people. We, uh, we don't do that. Unfortunately, I, I wish we did because that would be cool, but uh, we don't. And... I think that's a problem for us because I don't really know how many guns or if there would even be a lot of guns or decent guns in that police station that's near me. It's really just 100 meters up the road from me. So I think that probably going there would be a good place as well. It would be very fortified. Uh, it's two stories. It's on a uh, a long drive so or a, a long, a long road. So you'd be able to see like all the zombies outside, all the survivors coming by. Possibly the sort of thing I'd want to do in a zombie apocalypse if I was to fortify somewhere. It would take a lot of work, but I would want to build outposts and stuff outside on top of the buildings and just sort of put barbed wire and stuff around it. I know that's sort of very unreasonable or what I think would be unreasonable because where the hell I would get all the supplies to do that, I don't know. But I would find a way. I would find a way. But, yeah. I think one of the things that you'd want to do as well is collect all your good friends, all of the survivors that you can trust, and all of your family in that area, because that's very important. You don't want to just 
leave your family behind because that would be really fucked up. Like, in The Walking Dead Season 1, when Rick wakes up, all his family are gone. He's been in a hospital bed for God knows how long. I can't remember how long he was in a coma for, but I know I said I wasn't going to ruin The Walking Dead. But, um, you know. And I think The Walking Dead is probably my most inspirational like TV series to go from because I think it's so cool how when they meet up they're all like yeah okay let's stick together and they end up not only getting into trouble with zombies but there's a bit where there's a bit where Rick goes and meets this uh, black guy and his son and they stick together and then he eventually meets him in season 2 or 3 I believe and um you know, it's very sad, and I think that... I don't know why I was really going at that point, but I'm just sort of thinking about how he was like trying to talk to him the whole time with these walkie-talkies, and... Something that I've noticed in DayZ is they have magnums and walkie-talkies, and that just reminds me completely of Season 1 of Walking Dead, where he's trying to talk to him on a frequency every night. He tries to talk to him, and then Rick has his, you know, iconic magnum, which he... Usually when he shoots someone, is pointing at the ground, but y you know, you know how he does. But yeah... That was just what I wanted to ask you guys, what you were doing in Zombie Apocalypse, and personally, I don't know whether I'd really enjoy Zombie Apocalypse happening, I, as I said, I think it would be a cool factor if I had guns, loads of food and drink, and the ability to survive on what little was left of the world. So guys, today's Real Talk is coming to an end. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please remember to leave a like, comment what you would do in a zombie apocalypse, and subscribe to join the Deluxe Legion if you really enjoyed the videos. Once again, I thank you guys so much for how close we are to our 400 subscribers. I owe a lot to you guys. I also owe a lot to all of the Game Flash members, and especially in this video, Spathic. Remember to check out his channel. As I said, it will be in the description below. You guys rock. Have a great day. Have a great rest of your week. Uh, I hope this will go up on Sunday. But until next time, more Daisy Battlefield and maybe some Rust if I get it will be coming soon. Thank you guys. Have a really great day. And I will see you guys next time.